In this tutorial, I will discuss the difference between one-way slab and two-way slab. So before watching the tutorial, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Now let's start with our today's topic. As per IS 456-2000, in case of a one-way slab, the ratio of longer span to the shorter span is greater than or equal to 2. That is the ratio of length to the breadth of a slab must be equal to or greater than 2 in case of a one-way slab. For illustration, consider a slab with length 12 meter and breadth 4 meter. The ratio of length to breadth will be equal to 12 by 4 equal to 3 which is greater than 2. Hence, it clearly indicates that the slab with assumed dimensions is a one-way slab. And in case of a two-way slab, the ratio of longer span to the shorter span is always less than 2. That is the ratio of length to the breadth of the slab is less than 2. For illustration, consider a slab with length 6 meter and breadth 4 meter. The ratio of length to breadth will be equal to 6 by 4 equal to 1.5 which is less than 2. Hence, it clearly indicates that the slab with assumed dimensions is a two-way slab. A one-way slab is supported by the beams on two opposite sides as I have shown in this figure. The slab is supported by these two beams and the load is transferred to the beams. A two-way slab is supported by the beams on all the four sides of the slab. As I have shown in this figure, the slab is supported on all the four sides by beams. A one-way slab bends only in one direction. That is the direction along its shorter span. As I have shown in this figure, the slab is bending along shorter span like this. Whereas a two-way slab bends in both the directions, similar to the shape of a bowl, as I have shown in this figure. A one-way slab deflects in a cylindrical shape. That is, the deflected shape is similar to the shape of a cylinder. Whereas a two-way slab deflects in such a manner that uh, the deflected shape matches with the shape of a saucer. In case of one-way slab, loads are carried along uh, one direction only, that is along uh, shorter span. Whereas in two-way slabs, loads are carried along both the directions. In one-way slab, since the slab bends in one direction only, so to counter this bending, the main uh, steel is provided along the shorter span. As I have shown in this figure, the main uh, steel bars are provided along shorter span and the distribution bars along longer span. Whereas in case of two-way slab, the main steel is provided along both the directions. Since the slab bends along both the directions, so to counter this bending, the main steel is provided along both the directions. Since we provide less steel, while designing a one-way slab in comparison to two-way slab. So the thickness of one-way slab is more in comparison to two-way slab. One-way slabs are economical up to a span of 3.6 meter, whereas two-way slabs are economical up to panel sizes 6 meter into 6 meter. So this was all for today. For much more informative and interesting content, Subscribe my YouTube channel Civil Tutor and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook with the links given in description. We'll catch you up soon. Thank you.